Welcome to Daddy DIY. All right, the first thing we need to do here is get some glue down on our project. Then taking the shingles that we already made. If you did not see how the shingles were made, please see my following video. Go to my page, Daddy DIY. And there's a video there on how to make the shingles. All right, so once we start applying the shingles, we just want to overlap them um, put a little glue on the left side of the new shingle I mean on the shingle that's already placed and then you want to overlap those going right to left and repeat you want to make sure that the bottom of that shingle is uh, lined up and level but you do not have to worry about the top of the shingle. They do not have to be lined up or level because they will be covered and overlapped by the next coming row. And yeah, just glue that one on the end and leave the overlap hanging up. We're gonna show you what we'll do with that later once we get all the shingles on and apply all right so as you can see that second row is applied and you cannot see the uneven shifts of the first rows so as you go up and up you'll be covering up those imperfect uh, shingles that were made so just worry about making that bottom row flush overlapping it right to left and enough glue for it to, you know, stick. Also, don't worry about the excess glue that dries up on the project. Um, as you see later when we get to the painting stage, those imperfections are actually used. As you can see me dabbing glue all over those shingles that are down. You want them to be um, solid in the spot that they are in. And like I said, that uh, texture that the dry glue gives to the cardboard um, is going to work wonders when we get to the painting stage. Slow and steady wins the race. side completely finished this side is completely finished we want to let this dry and once it's stiff we're going to move on to cutting all right so i put a little bend on that and just start cutting right down that line you want a straight line going all the way down from the peak of the roof down to your corner as you can see, I'm just following the outline of the base cardboard of the roof. And that is why I said we didn't have to worry about those extras that was hanging over. To see if they're going to be covered up or cut off. Alright, and we got two sides done. It's coming right along. Last side here. Alright, gonna show you how to finish off this last side. Same thing, we're gonna follow that edge 
but you do not want to cut any of your shingles that are already been cut on the previous side so just be careful with that one factor and we should be good i couldn't see the edge on this side so i decided to just use this ruler and draw a straight edge line going down and i'm just gonna cut that line out Thank you for watching Daddy DIY and this is building the Thompson's model. Every model that I build is a house that was some way actually in my life. This model is a model of my grandparents' home. And they are the Thompsons. Alright, we're almost done with this one. notifications on new videos. All right, we're gonna start the cut on this top layer. And as you can see, this is the easiest one. You just get that edge and go straight down and you're done. have a roof with shingles on it it's really coming together better than I thought all right so now I'm going to apply the corners here and as you can see for the corners I decided to go back to the hot glue gun because I wanted to make sure that they really stuck and held everything in place so all the corners are being applied with hot glue and you just want to overlap that edge as you go up. And I'm kind of bending them in half before I put the glue in the middle and then um, kind of just letting it flex back out when I'm applying it. careful because that can burn crafting can be dangerous and again I said don't worry about spilled glue or hot glue just rub it in and smooth it out I'm telling you it's gonna work wonders for the texture Everything in this model I use from recycled items in the house besides the popsicle sticks and I guess the glue gun and glue but all the material for the house is recycled items from 
our home packages from Amazon cereal boxes and there we have it that's how you put shingles on a roof made from cardboard next video we'll be painting so stay tuned like subscribe and watch the next video this is daddy diy